Hello and welcome to Discover Manufacturing Week. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Cindy Farah and I'm your host. I'm also the project coordinator for Discover Manufacturing. And I'm really excited to be part of this program. Manufacturing Week is such a great way for students like you to learn all about the different careers and the possibilities that exist in the manufacturing industry. We have a really interesting show for you. We've got some two companies here represented and they're gonna be giving you some information. They're gonna talk about 10 minutes each, maybe a little bit longer. They've got a lot to tell you and to share with you, but we, all, we have um, an end mobile solution here today and custom profile. So you will have time to ask questions at the end. And actually the best way to submit your question is to go into the Q&A section on your toolbar to submit them. But if you're watching as a class, just jot down your questions for your teacher and she can submit them for you. And we will leave time at the end to make sure to answer your questions. So also, if there's any high school seniors here today watching, Discover Manufacturing has scholarships available for seniors who are interested in pursuing a career in manufacturing in West Michigan. So go check out our website. We've got the application and all the information there and your teacher can also share that with you. We would appreciate it today if everyone could complete a survey after our webinar. Students who complete the survey will be entered into a random drawing to receive a $10 Amazon gift card. So we have 20 of those available, so to make sure to complete the survey. And um, yeah, I think we're ready to get started. We'll begin with our first company. We have custom profile here today. We have Jenny Redis and Carmine Petrozello, and they are going to be explaining what they do for their company and give you a lot of cool information. Welcome. Thank you, Cindy. Hi, everybody. My name is Jenny Redis. I'm the HR manager of Custom Profile. We do plastic profile extrusions, and we'll teach you a little bit more about that here shortly. I started at Custom Profile 21 years ago. I was employee number 26 when I started, and now we have over 400 employees in three different locations. My role in human resources covers all aspects of an employee's employment here, recruiting, hiring, benefits, payroll, safety, training, training, and everything in between. I support mainly our Grand Rapids facility, but I also help our South Carolina facility, which is where Carmine is coming from. Being part of a growing company that changes all the time has kept me here and engaged and there's been a lot of opportunity for me to learn. Our company helps me uh, with training classes that I take to support my HR certification. And we do that for all other roles in the organization too, which we'll tell you a little bit more about. So now let me have Carmine introduce himself. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. My name is Carmine Petrozello. And uh, I've been fortunate enough to uh, be with Custom Profile for going on two years now. Uh, so you've heard I work in the South Carolina facility, which is a growth facility for Custom Profile. We started this facility to be located closer to our end users uh, to save on transportation costs. I started my career in plastic extrusion and in 1996. So over the last 25 years, I've been able to grow from a general laborer to managing a facility of 45 employees, and I've also been fortunate enough to uh, witness and participate in an industry revolution. So in manufacturing, uh, it tends to get a stigma of a dark and dirty kind of place, which is absolutely not the case in uh, today's day and age. We use a lot of internet of things, connected devices and touch screens. Uh, various sensors, we can monitor productivity and machinery problems real time. Uh, so I can have engineers uh, log in to a piece of equipment uh, from our Grand Rapids facility and help our maintenance staff on site to diagnose problems. And some of those, some of those various things, uh, ease of use for operators, we have lasers that are automatically uh, measuring lengths of parts and packaging them. And it's been, uh, it's been really exciting in my career so far to uh, be able to implement and enable uh, a technology revolution in manufacturing. 
I tell every new employee how much I love this company. If you take care of Custom Profile, Custom Profile will take care of you. So the best thing about working for this company is they give people the opportunity to succeed, um, often second chances. If you're willing to put in the hard work here, um, you can turn a job into a career, no problem. Well, Custom Profile has been an amazing place to work here, uh, personally, because how they treat their employees. I love coming to work every day because Custom Profile has the same values I have. Quality, customers, um, teamwork, and uh, people, special people. This company does a lot for its employees and for the community. If you want to grow, they will help you grow. If you want to get better at your job, they will help you. In my eight years here, I've went from operator to supervisor, setup, and now I'm a production launch engineer, so lots of opportunity. This place, it's been pretty great. I mean, I love it. It's, they have helped me grow and become a leader in this place, and now I'm helping others to become also our leaders. In my three years here, the company has helped me grow as an employee, and uh, at this point, I am a oversee a finishing department. I was first line operator, then a quality tech, and now I am a supervisor. I have worked here for 15 years and I hope to be here until I retire. I know how lucky I am to be able to say that because not many people can say that about their employer. It's a great company to work for, raises, bonuses, promotions, we're employee owned, so I mean you can't find that everywhere. For me, being an employee owner, it's great because you know what that means that they, we are also um, part of the company, part of the team, part of the the whole plan and we can make decisions to you on how to deal with certain things that are going to make us even improve more. I have fun every day and love the people that I work with. They're like another family to me. It's a great place. But the people I work with are great. Great environment, great co-workers, everything. We have fun. There is something for everyone here at Custom Profile. That's it. Again, thank you for joining us. We're, we love doing this kind of stuff. We're excited to be here today. We are on social media. So if you want to follow us, we post a lot of really cool things, a lot of cool things of what we do, the fun things we do, and then we showcase a lot of our processes. So feel free to check us out. We also, um, just a little bit more about us. We've been in business since 1992. Our founder had one extruder in a building downtown. Uh, we moved into Walker in 1999 and just kept growing. And in our facility currently that I'm sitting at, we opened in 2008. Uh, the facility Carmine is in, we opened in 2020. So a lot of growth through the years. We do a lot of monthly community service events. We do have a setup apprenticeship program. Not only do we have an apprenticeship program, but we have other training opportunities where we've moved people into roles like CAD designer, supervision, um, engineering, and we've sent training, those employees to training for those positions. We have competitive salary, benefits, wellness program, gym reimbursement, a lot of good things for our employees. We, like I said, have three different locations, our Michigan facility, South Carolina, and Mexico. Here's a little snapshot of each of those facilities. Like Carmine said, we move strategically to get closer to some of our customers. So our South Carolina facility was open to get closer to our customer GE that is down there. So our appliance customers. In Michigan, we support a lot of furniture manufacturers. So Herman Miller, Hayworth, Steelcase, in Juarez, they provide tubing for Electrolux for the refrigerators. They also provide tubing for the medical industry and wind turbines. So a lot of diversification. We not only do we make plastic extrusion and, and are very successful, we have a lot of fun. You can see by our videos, culture is very important to us. And at all three of our locations, that same family focused culture is there. The company looks out for their employees. Uh, the employees look out for their coworkers and we all love giving back to the community, whether it's through community service events or community events like it is um, here today. We have moved people, like I said, into engineering roles, maintenance, CNC. We do have a setup apprenticeship program, which we will pay for training and some classes. 
We also have opportunities to move into leadership roles. Um, I had somebody who was on the floor move into a CAD designer role and we paid for all of his schooling as well. So there is a lot of opportunity to learn and grow. Um, like Carmine says, we do all sorts of different shapes, sizes, colors. Our organization is called Custom Profile for a reason. We do custom everything based on what the customer is looking for. So we have over 500 different colors that we are able to make, um, but you can see a wide variety of shape sizes here in this photo. So here's a quick clip of the extrusion process. In the background, we can see the die head. These are the shape blocks that are cooling it. Typically, our water trough will run 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we recirculate that water through a chiller system internally in the plant, and it's not wasted. So here's a cutter. And if you look carefully, you can see the internal geometry of the part. It actually has some various little legs and you know, shaped slots inside the part. Uh, so don't let the outside fool you. It's a little more intricate than it appears. Uh, so it would, typically something like this would have a mating part uh, that we would check uh, fitment. At the end of the line, the operator will be entering that data into a statistical process control. If you have an Electrolux refrigerator at home, most likely you have our tubes. So these tube tanks will give you cold water every time you go to your water dispenser. Um, we also make some other tubes out of our Mexico facility that go into those refrigerators. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to either one of us. If you're local in Grand Rapids and you ever want to come and take a tour of our facility, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jenny and Carmine. We really appreciate your time and all the information you shared with us. That's awesome. I learned a lot myself. <laughs> Thanks okay. for having us, Cindy. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Well, we, for our next company, we have MN Mobile Solutions here, and we'd like to start off with their company video first before I introduce you. Hey, good morning. My name is Steve Hedice. I'm the training director for NN Mobile Solutions AutoCam. We're here in beautiful Kentwood, Michigan, right out by the Gerald R. Ford Airport. I'm going to show you what we do inside. We are a manufacturer of automotive and industrial components that are delivered across the globe. Annually, we make over 300 million parts here in Michigan alone. The majority of the components that we make here in our facility are safety critical components, meaning that on vehicles, if you start, stop, or shift, or steer, we have something that is likely involved in the mechanics of that process occurring in your vehicle. And all of those functions are absolutely vital to perform without flaw to keep you safe on the roads. We offer tuition reimbursement programs through our apprenticeship model or college classes or even technical coursework offered within industry. My name is Ovid Santos and I've been working here for seven years. I was accepted into the apprenticeship program and then um, I uh, was able to complete that thanks to uh, my employer who uh, helped me and supported me throughout the all the way. And um, that's how I became a machinist and that's how I got to uh, do what I do nowadays. It's important that each one of our people stay current with technology so that we understand the opportunities to serve our customer better in the future. Hey, thanks for coming. We hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully we'll be able to have you in person sometime soon. But until then, stay safe and we hope that you can enjoy Manufacturing Week. I love it. We have Steve Pete Heist here with us in person. <laughs> hey, Steve. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Jerry. How you doing? Great. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Talk about the PowerPoint here and what we want to share with the group. Uh, let me get started here. First of all, I'd like to say welcome. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity to showcase for students what we're doing. And uh, my interest is explaining the dots, right, for students to understand and experience 
how they can develop their skills for the workforce, right? Let me go ahead and give you some details about our business first. So our company, NN Mobile Solutions, is actually a part of the division of NN Incorporated. We have NN Power Solutions that's on the other side, and we cover all kinds of different industrial applications from aerospace and defense, automotive, electrical, general industrial, and even medical components. And the thing for you to understand is that our business is about engineering in value for our customers. We are all over the world. The facility here is out by the airport, like I alluded to in the video, but we have uh, facilities on the East Coast, the West Coast, we're in Europe, we're in South America, and we're in Asia. And our whole uh, opportunity is to provide value to our customers where they are assembling their product. So we will machine the complex tolerances that we do in the regions that they are manufacturing. As I was mentioning a bit a moment before, these are the these are the different industries, but these are the different types of things you'll see our products in. So most uh, individuals recently have upgraded to having a um, electrical um, panel on the side of their house that's uh, connected to the grid and it can measure and evaluate the type of current that's being pulled, the aerospace and defense and the smart grid, uh, and then the engine components that we use in order to attain the mile per gallon goals that we have in the United States. Some different applications from ATVs and air conditioners. Uh, you know, our components go in all kinds of equipment, but it's it's a metal uh, detail and specification that we can uh, maintain that our customers come to us for. So just in a slide, this is what we do. We take bar stock and we use pieces of equipment like this uh, Tornos Multi-Swiss. This piece of equipment is, on, is uh, one of only 107 or eight in the world currently. And we have two of them here on our floor in Kentwood. And what we can do with this is we can take 10 to 12 foot bar stock at different diameters and we can turn it into the components that you can see in front of you on the screen. And that's what our machinists and technicians do. And we are capable of high, high volume, tight tolerance uh, machining. Our model has an opportunity for an individual to come to work for us and either focus primarily on their work and, and a little bit of school, focus on full school, uh, school full-time and then part-time work, or to go to the traditional four-year or five-year college and do a co-op program. And that's what we're highlighting here. What we try to relate to our students that are interested in machining is that if you're interested in growing and developing with an organization, we have a career development model and path that you can walk through in order to attain as high as education as you desire. And we're going to go ahead and take care of the educational portion. You can see here that it's highlighted that you can come in at any level really and continue to grow. And what I really wanna point out is that the apprentice we see as our foundation to future technical success throughout the organization. Back to our apprenticeship model, we, we have our students go to school in a cohort fashion. That means that they are actually attending school with their colleagues uh, one day a week while working four days a week. It allows them to uh, really apply the knowledge that they're attaining uh, in that, that, that Friday classroom, but it also has that cohort feel. So you get to know the strengths and weaknesses of your teammates and how you can benefit the organization going forward. And we have a unique program here as well. It's called our Pay for Skills program. This program actually gives a student or a, a trainee or an apprentice an opportunity or machinist even, an opportunity to grow their skills and in doing so, raise their hourly rate as they complete these skills. So this goes on top of your normal hourly rate and, um, and, and stays with you for the duration of your career. And what you're really doing is adding value to your knowledge and we're willing to pay you for that. So I think it's important to highlight what our employees are often like. First of all, they're curious. Uh, we have uh, individuals that are willing to ask why or ask questions. Uh, they're very mechanical in nature and they're willing to learn. But they also don't want to be alone. They want to be a part of a team and, and be challenged or pushed. And quite frankly, we like new technologies. That's why we're in the industry that we're in. And so in talking about that, what I want to do is I want to send it out to the floor. You can see Richard there. Madison, go ahead and take it away. Um, my name is Richard. Um, I've been with NN Mobile Solutions since 2016. So it's been about five years now and running. Um, so I'm a quality technician or lab technician here at our Kentwood facility in uh, building 4060. 
right now we're working on a machine issue. Well, was an issue, but now I believe we may have the problem figured out. Um, something going on with the roundness of the seat and concentricity of the actual seat inside the part. So this is part of our um, CES Cummins emissions systems. Um, and that's pretty much like a part of a fuel injector. And what we're using to check concentricity and seat roundness are, is our tally run. And this pretty much is a table that will spin in a clockwise motion. And we've got a probe right here. We actually have a number of different probes that we use and we can kind of fixture our parts in certain ways to help us get the measurements that we need. Depending on, uh, I guess a various number of requirements of whatever an engineer asks me to do, I just kind of figure it out. It takes some time, but this is pretty much what I do on a day to day. Just problem solving and well, problem solving my own problems and getting data for engineers and product managers and different machinists on the floor too. We work very closely with um, the guys out here on the floor and our engineers up top too in the offices. I love working here. I love the relationships that I've built here. It's more than just a manufacturing. I, I, I know a guy earlier in the presentation I talked about how, how like manufacturing has like this dark and dingy kind of feeling to it. But once you get into a place like NN has been for me, you start to realize there's way more to it than just man, you know, cutting metal, I guess you could say. You're building relationships, you're learning about different kinds of processes, different kinds of materials and people. And there's just so much more to offer in manufacturing than what's stated. Thanks, Richard. That was fantastic, Richard. I appreciate you sharing your insight. And one of the things I love about what we do is Richard, Richard came to us without any manufacturing experience. He went through our AMP program and now is a lab technician for us and he's continuing to look at what opportunities lay before him. So Cindy and Jerry, I appreciate the time, but that's all we got because we got to get back to work. So right. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. You guys did awesome. We learned a lot and we really appreciate your time today. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. You're welcome.